to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have a look at a very small selfish topic because we are just going to look at one new app I found on the Yola store. It's pretty new and uh, I think it's pretty fun too. And uh, if for instance you have some time left over the, the celebration days or whatever, then it might be a good thing to try this out. Okay, so um, for everybody who doesn't know what's going on here, I am Gerald, my name is Gerald. I have a Sailfish OS uh, powered smartphone here, which is a Sony Xperia 10 Mark III in this case. And Sailfish OS is a Linux based uh, smartphone OS, which is something yeah, pretty much different from Android or iOS or whatever you know there. And uh, so if you want to know more about all these and what is going on here, please have a look at the corner up there. I will link a couple of other videos there where you can see what's going on. And uh, yeah, in the end, what I'm going to do here is again, I'm going to use my smartphone here, which is, as mentioned before, a Sony Xperia 10 Mark III. And that one uh, with the newest Sailfish OS version on it um, it's running here with screencast enabled. Screencast is a technology where I can put more or less uh, the screen of my smartphone to a web browser and the web browser can be shown for instance on your laptop or whatever you want there and my laptop is standing at the side here as you can see and I'm going to use my laptop which is connected by HDMI to my TV here to show you everything that's going on on my smartphone in this case. Um, audio is not transmitted uh, uh, in this way, so the audio will be coming from the speakers of the smartphone, which is a little bit a downer or whatever, but uh, in the end we can't do it in any other way at the moment. Or Yeah, I could of course use some kind of Bluetooth technology, Bluetooth uh, uh, speakers or something like that to make it more vicious. But in the end, try it out yourself, you will see it's uh, functioning pretty nicely and I think even the quality of the, the speakers isn't that bad that you can't understand what this is going to be all about. Okay, so um, first off, I'm just going to go to my Firefox here and I'm going to put that one into full screen mode. That. So, there we are. And um, in the end you can now see everything that is going on on my smartphone here with a little bit of a delay. So don't expect this to be delay free or something. If you see a big delay, it's probably because of the screencast technology. I'm going to turn around and show you my screen while I'm going to perform any kind of stuff here. So you might be able to see the delay and of course you will see if it's uh, hanging on the smartphone or if it's just a problem with this technology we are using here, which is very likely the case. Okay, so for that I'm going to turn around and um, yeah, in the end what I'm going to do here, there we go, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a new app which I have found, which is Bassoon Tracker. Bassoon Tracker is really just an app for, or just is a good thing to say because it's a pretty complex app, uh, for creating beats and sounds and stuff like that. It's very interesting, I like it very much. You can find it on the Yola store. So let's go to the Yola store, here we go. So one of the newest ones there. And uh, I just found it, I think it's a pretty nice one. There it is already, if I click on it, here we go. There you can see what this is all about. It's looking a little bit like Winamp or something, but it's really a very powerful one and you might want to try it out. I'm going to put the link down below into the commentary section or better to say the description section of this video. And other than that, let's see what we can do here. So I'm just starting it up now. And as you can see, it's already showing us a, a pretty nice interface. Um, we can't turn it around, which is a little bit of a bummer, bummer, but on the other hand, it's really a lot of stu stuff going on for a smartphone uh, screen here. So yeah, just bear with it. And what I'm going to do here is, first off, I'm just going to activate it. So press the play button. And as you already can see, there's a couple of different things going on. So in the end, it's a repeater and it's going to repeat different kinds of, of uh, music and stuff like that and beats. 
that you can now manipulate even. So for instance, if you don't want to have all the different um, tracks that are playing at the moment, so there are four tracks more or less playing, and uh, in the end we can just go and for instance solo that, that's an S button there, and we can of course just mute everything, and for instance play two of them at the same time, solo everything, or just let them play everything together. And um, yeah, this is of course already a nice little thing to, to be able to do that, but there's a lot more to this app. So for instance, we can increase or decrease the, the, um, the speed of it. And for some reason, there is no support for any kind of keyboard input. So even so, if I click on that, and you see the, the, the cursor there blinking, it's not going to give me any kind of option to input something, so you really have to use the buttons next to it, which is fine, you can use it. And you can already see if you press on it for a while, come on. Yeah, whatever. Um, you can press on it for a while to increase or decrease it. Uh, the uh, the speed of the sound, of course, as you can see. And um, yeah, now it's a lot less speedy or fast there. You can increase or decrease the song length. So if the repeating pattern is just too repetitive for you, you can just increase it a little bit. Okay. And you can, of course, use different patterns here. There's something different, you already know that. And so you can play around and uh, combine different songs, different things with, uh, with each other, increase it. As an instrument count and stuff like that, and just play around with it. And even now we are not even close to what is possible with this app because for instance, we can go to the instrument tab here, and you can see here are a couple of different uh, instruments available. And here you can, for instance, see that we can put in additional tracks, more or less. So if you want to uh, want to have more than just those available there. You can even go decrease that. Go to a different, these are the options. It's a little bit hard to, to uh, navigate through the app, so it's probably done for a desktop, but still a very nice one. Um, high DPI setting, I already activated that, so the, the graphics are more crisp here, but that's not what I'm after. Give me one sec. Let's see, you can uh, toggle, for instance, song and pattern to just uh, differentiate between those. And you can even load in modules and, more importantly, change, for instance, give me one sec. How can I go out out ah, there? Okay, change, for instance, the song data, which is behind it and increase or decrease the size of it. So you can already see there are a lot of different things going on here. And it's all, I think, MIDI based. So in the end, if you, for instance, want to use a different music, you can, of course, do that too. Give it a little bit of time, it's loading. And here's a totally different song then. There's a huge library of different songs you can use as a, as a uh, yeah, bass line and increase and, and decrease stuff. Try to alter them a little bit and just work with them, whatever you want to do there. So for that, just go to the File button here. On the File button you can, for instance, if you go there, really see a lot of different already available options with effect tests and stuff that is really, really pretty, pretty good songs already. 
and just give it a little bit of time. Sometimes it lords a little or in some situations it's not loading at all, then you just have to go to another one. But let's go see what this is. There we go. As you can see, a different song again. And you really can just now adjust everything, have a look at the pattern data in there, try to increase that. You can even go and see the different samples that you are going to use here. So you can, for instance, go to the sample options there and now just let it play, for instance, off the sample you are seeing at the moment, just a little bit of, of it. You can, for instance, fine-tune it, um, increase uh, the volume of it, so if it should be less apparent or apparent, or more apparent, you can use that. You can, for instance, change the different tracks here. And as you can already see, we changed a little bit of the track now. And we can use that one and you get everything really nicely shown in this interface. It's a little bit complex of course, so you really have to play with it a lot. But as mentioned before, that is what this uh, app is all about. So play with it, try to increase or decrease something. Try to make it even more fun with these little uh, sound samples and so on and so forth. So there's a lot to discover in this app. I can't show you everything at the moment because I just don't know everything at the moment. But I think it's a very nice one. Try it out if you have some time uh, in the celebration season or whatever, then just try it out. I think it's a pretty nice app and it will keep you occupied for a long time, if you want to at least. And um, if you're into music making, for instance, and stuff like that, it's really a nice little thing you can play with. Just try it out. Yeah. And I would say this is more or less what I can show you about this app at the moment. So just try it out. I will link the app in the, in the description box down below. And I think you will have fun with it if you like it. So, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a great time, have a great Christmas of course, because I'm not sure if we are going to have a, a video on the, on the 24th, I think the next one is already the 24th, right? Not sure at the moment, but it's going to be very close to Christmas, so I'm not, I'm not sure if I can provide you with any video there. We will see us in the next episode, probably, maybe next week, maybe one week after that, we will see. And other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening. Please give this video a thumbs up if you didn't till now. And uh, of course, if you like this video content or the content about Sailfish or content about Windows 10 Mobile or whatever, then just uh, subscribe to this channel. I hope you have fun with it and thank you for watching, thank you for listening. See you in the next episode and bye. Bye.